Hi everybody, today taking a look at the swing of Bryson DeChambeau on the left. Uh, this is from yesterday in the PGA Championship where he shot four under par and my setup for impact swing on the right. I got a lot of questions recently if Bryson's still swinging on a single plane or setting up for impact as he talked about in previous articles. Um, and he has always uh, said that it's an advantage setting up in your impact plane. As you see both of us here, uh, you can see the right arm here uh, on the same plane as the golf club at setup. And it's really a very simple concept simply because the wrists are in an uncocked uh, position there, what's known as ulnar deviation. And that's where it's going to be at impact. So Bryson is on record as saying he thinks it's crazy that people wouldn't just set up there because it's obviously easier uh, to swing a golf club if you're set up for impact. So if you if you just follow a couple simple steps, uh, you can simplify your swing. And so I'm just showing you, uh, Bryson is still uh, swinging the same way that he has. And you've seen a lot of other videos that I've done. But this is a pretty neat comparison. As you can see both of us, uh, you can see Bryson here on the left, taking it back along the plane on the way back. You see me on the right uh, back, roughly the same position, very close to on plane. You can see our spine angles have been maintained. And as Bryson starts down, you'll see the club come right back there. You can see the blur of the shaft right there. It's a TV camera, so it's hard to see as clearly as you can on my video, but you'll see my club come also right back there, right onto the plane. And you see the club face and club come right down the plane into impact. And we'll see Bryson on the left also right back into impact. Uh, you could see some in the past trying to swing on a single plane have uh, tried to keep uh, the right heel down. That's one of my, for me, one of the biggest mistakes I think you can make. And it's in my myths video, uh, 10 myths debunked on swinging on a single plane. And it's a very popular video because it allows people the freedom to uh, swing in a more natural way uh, that makes it easier to repeat, get more distance and accuracy. Uh, and you can see how we both maintain spine angles as well. Uh, and this is also a very important part uh, for making a swing that's easy to repeat, uh, but also it's easier on the body. So uh, there's less stress from uh, changing planes, uh, changing spine angles and all that. Uh, we're both using the ground to create power. And you'll see uh, how similar the positions look. And as we go through uh, to the finish, as we go through to the finish, uh, you'll see roughly the same uh, positions once again, fully turned through the shot. I have a simple set of drills uh, that allow you to quickly learn how to make this simple motion on my website at setupforimpact.com. I have schools happening around the country. It's probably the fastest way that you can improve your game. And my online learning program allows you to send in videos uh, using the same program here. This is the OnForm app, which is free with a membership on my website and it allows you to send in videos so that I can show you exactly step by step how to improve your game. Uh, looking forward to seeing Bryson play today and this weekend. I uh, hope you all have a great weekend and take care. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below and I look forward to hearing from you.